Africa. Yeah, man. Good music is timeless. It could never die, you know. No party without. Hello, boss. Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, you weren't, you weren't expecting me to bring you on? <laughs> Where is it, brother? Welcome, welcome to the live. Welcome, welcome. I did it. I'd like to talk a little bit about global music productions tonight. Oh, God, no. Boy, you put me this part again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it is. That's what it is. But you deserve the spotlight. So we introduced you last week for those of you who probably haven't checked out the live or haven't seen it. But... I'll ask you to reintroduce yourself, and we want to really talk about that's a that's a, a real big name when you talk about global global music production. So I want you to tell us a little bit about your vibes, make the people know. You know what I mean? Yeah, the man behind the the hits and the and the vibe and bringing back that kind of um that sound which we spoke about years years back. You spoke about um, the influence in terms of some of the tones in the music that a lot of the new producers seem to seem to avoid. They try to create soca without using the right elements, etc., etc. But we'll get into that. I just tell us a little bit about the vibe and you know, you know what sort of music you you bring out and what you know. Just talk to the people, man. Well. <laughs> Uh, so, like I always tell you, um, I I believe in sticking to my roots, right? And I believe in um, you know just trying to enhance the roots a little bit, you know. Okay. Okay. And um, you know, you know, so you know, I think soca soca has some basic fund fundamentals, you know, you know. The congas and the little percussion. You know, I don't have to be. You know, I mean, I know now a lot of people going in, in a direction where they use a lot of um, synths to play percussion. Right. And I, don't, I don't have a problem with that, but right. you know, they get certain things that certain elements that I personally don't believe in living out. Right. Um, and I, I, you know, I stick to that, and I, 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 I you know, I add synth. I, synth, I, I, I go, I. You know, add some some sort of modern elements, but it's the, the fundamentals have to be there. They have to, they have be, to there. be there. And I and I, I don't care what nobody say. A, a lot of people bash me for that. You know, they say, "Oh boy, you're moving the time." And uh, I I I don't care. I I I do music because I love it, and I I love certain certain um aspects of of music. I'm I'm not gonna change that. So you know, whatever. There's there's a point you always make to me, and you know it's a really valid thing. You say, well, if it's not broken, why fix it? Or why change it? You say, oh, yeah, no, 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 let, let, let me say, let, no, no, hey, Lord, let me say, let me say, let me say it like like <laughs> like like the country of, of of my heart. If Ken Tokina change the recipe, what make me put change for me? Ain't? But you understand, you understand, <laughs> and you see that's the disconnect we have sometimes between the new generation um of producers whereas the music evolves but like you've mentioned some elements some elements is, is key elements and and a lot of people who listen to music whilst we will enjoy something but there's a reason why this song the certain songs kind of outlive other songs they kind of last generations you know and you hear some of the songs now and Within a month or two of rotation, people get tired of it. So you know, I think you know, you know, you know. I think, in my my opinion, I think the reason um, why a lot of the the songs that live forever, you listen to the lyrical content. That's my opinion. Eh? So you say, so you say it's not is not the um, music, it's the lyrics. Because let me tell you. So hear that. Hear, hear, hear this. Hear this. Right. Listen to look at look at um look at hot hot hot. Right. Look at um all these old songs. These songs are uh, we need 
Why you come? You you why 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 you come there full of gas, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad you. I'm glad we have you on because you make a valid point there. You mentioned about a lot of these songs. It's not just the music; it's the lyrics. No, but the lyrics. lyrics Sam, that, that's but, why some of these songs don't really last in terms but of. But Sam, but Sam, but Sam. Lyrics, hold on. Yeah, that's true. But, that's true. But 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 Sam, but but let's be realistic, right? Listen, listen to hot hot hot. And okay, let's listen to by gas. By gas. Let, let's use him as an example. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. By gas, by gas plane every year. But every but everybody can relate to it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Everybody can relate to it. Or, or the, the, yeah. the, 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 the Caucasians can relate to it. The Chinese can relate to it. The, everybody can relate to it, right? But when you but there are certain things, you know, you you know like because of the lyrics, a lot of people can relate to it. Yeah. So forget about the music. the music. Could, the, the music could be nice. And again, everybody, I don't care. I don't care. And I'm going to use this forum to tell, let everybody know that I do not care who think I'm biased, who think that I, all I know is flames. I don't care. I will always use flames <laughs> as an example because flames music will live forever. Every everybody, all dog, cat, fish, pig, everybody can relate to flames because the lyrical content. Is universal. I don't care what nobody say, right? And that is why these fellas will be relevant forever. Wow. But there are certain other artists, you know, they, they, they sing certain things, and nobody like like for instance, I always tell people, why you think Trinidad Calypso go far? The oldest, if from the 80s Trinidad Calypso, still the, the, the 80s Calypso in from Trinidad is still really relevant right now, right? Because Back in them time, when the mono singing Calypso, he was singing about, you know, woman and rum and party stuff. And, you know, they, in, in, in the late 90s and, and, and 2000, they start singing about politics. Only Trinidadians know about Pandey and, 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 and all them kind of things. Nobody, <laughs> nobody knew about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you checked in? Yeah, true. So, so, true. so, you know, I mean, come on. You know, that's how I see it. As, what, that's what, not very what, valid what because mix, mix it, you know, because if, if you have to check um calypso in notion a long time ago they to you know they didn't need to think yes. about about politics but yes. you know they have been politics work on work on work on wine you know all, all them kind of thing you know when, but, but, you know, let, let, let's talk about scabby you know scabby was singing singing about you know things that everybody could relate to you know all them all you know oh like boy you know who again no politics, but everybody's singing about political thing now, and you expect the music to go anywhere? Yeah, they go nowhere. Nobody know nothing about people and and, and, and uh, nobody know nothing about that. Yeah, true, true. Come on. True. true. I mean, I get I get sent a lot of music, and then sometimes, like you say, it's disappointing. I, I will analyze the song in terms of from a production standpoint, from a musical standpoint, and a lyrical standpoint. And you know, sometimes boy, you realize like boy, that song have the potential, but it will not reach as far as it can just because of what is lacking in terms of maybe lyrically. Um, so that's why I'm also an advocate of artists sharing your music, get a second or third or fourth opinion beyond your circle, beyond your producer. You know, because there are certain producers, I'm pointing no finger, but if somebody come to them <laughs> record a song. It just bounce and draw. Do they work? Yeah, Ooh. bounce and draw. Yeah, yeah. They will yeah, never yeah, tell yeah. you, Gasa, yeah. boy, change that because that's a that's a hard pill to swallow. When you tell an artist, boy, yo, you know that that I really can't admit. Now you re know? Re remember that the last the last live we had, I told you about Libo. The same thing, Libo, Libo, Libo used to do that. Whenever yeah. artists come in the studio, you have to be, you have to be honest. Strip, you have to be honest. Recording. Yeah. Yeah, go on. You have to be that. honest. A, yeah, a, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of them can't take on that. They can't take that. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. that's a discussion yeah. we were having, eh? Because you said, uh, Eck said something to me. Um, we were discussing something, an artist. And, you know, some artists, if you have to mention, give them a creative advice, they'll reach on your mother, this, and hold your dad, exactly. you know. Exactly. Exactly. And they say, you're fighting them down. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, 
But let me tell you, but once, but like for me, like I've, I've, I've had certain experiences where, you know, like from, like, like I, I, I'm, I'm listening to the artist sing and the key too high or too low and they don't understand that. And, 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 and you know, as, as the producer and, and, and the musical person in the room, I say, look, I don't, I think you should raise the key or lower the key because, you know, like I, I, have, a, I have a thing for keys. Like, you know, like sometimes some, somebody come and sing something and it's like, it's like a happy thing and it's like a hype thing and the key too low, it make, it make, it make the song, the mood of the song just seem yeah, true. dark. So it's true. the key had to be higher, you know, and them don't understand that. And when you say them kind of thing, they don't understand, it's either they don't understand or they figure, boy, who, who are you to come and tell me? You know, you know and they, and them, them, them kind of thing, that's why, boy, I just, sometimes I just figure, I just produce music for myself. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we all go through that, you know. We all go through the 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 the, the soul searching where but you want to you want to be honest with an artist because you want to see them succeed. And it's not just yeah. about you know, it's not just about well, you know, a, a payday or check at the end of the day. You want you want them to because they're represented by yours being associated with the one that pops up possibly produced the track. It's your name to some degree that associated yeah, yeah. with the song. Yeah. You know? Well, Look, we well, have well, well, it, 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 it have some things that I just tell people to put my name on that, you know. <laughs> Let me tell you, I used to I used to do that for a while, eh? Until I realized, boy, it's better you don't do it if you do that, because if you tell them don't put your name behind it. You know what I mean? What if today, tomorrow the song score? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, well, no, well, no, well, well, well they, they can put my name on the, on the registration, but uh, but uh, in, the pu in the public, I don't put my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! No, you're bad, you're bad, bad, you're bad, you're bad, you're bad, <laughs> boy. Yeah, man, I'm trying to bring in another another producer we have here, but um, Rob, big up yourself, man. Thanks, thanks for joining us, Rob. We have Rob in the house. Rob, my brother. What are you saying, Rob? We have Hillary. Hillary said, I have a Canadian co-worker, born and raised Canadian, and all he can listen to at work is burning flames. <laughs> no, I see I see I see somebody I see somebody post something there about uh, yeah, some burning flames thing. Yeah, we have to read the comments too, you know, the comments. Somebody the somebody comments. He, somebody named Hillary, I think they say yeah. a Canadian worker co-worker that listen to to flames okay. alone. I want to play a track there. Which is a track that was re re released not too long ago, um, and we'll talk about it a little bit. What I love about it is the I'll be talking about tones, where you've given our kind of folk heritage vibe, and you've modern modernized it a bit, and it has the flames influence. So I'll just play it. Which, which song is that? <laughs> <laughs> check check what check what the man doing Yeah, ambush me, boy. Yeah, yeah, check what the man doing you. Yeah, ambush me. Yes, yes, that's what we're talking about. So when you hear them kind of elements in the music, it hit home with you, it sounds familiar, it had that yeah. vibe, you know, and li lyrical content there. <laughs> Walk to the right. Look in the center. So, tell us about production-wise that track, the inspiration, the vibe, who's singing it, X Y Z. You know. So that's so that's four minus one. Four minus one, four minus one band. That's Frost, Slack, and myself. Um, 
the I think uh the lyrics uh slack slack and frost but um the idea the whole i music it started frost 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 is the one that um that thought of the um the 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 um the melody the the that's the ramapolio thing the ramapolio right that's right 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 you come up with the idea and then you know I we just you know I just you know add, so add, add, add guys, like a, are you guys taking parts next year for Super Mona? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> X X X take a B line there. Eh? I think I'll be lying. <laughs> X, I suspect X X put in his plan together and so say trying to see who you're up against. Yeah. <laughs> let, 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 let me take a sip on that. Eh? <laughs> so, one, you ask your question there. Are you, are you taking part? That's for that, that's for us to know when you're fine. All right. Well, in any case, we, we expect, <laughs> in any case, we expecting more music from you all. Okay. Okay. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. You mean, yeah, man. Yeah, you have things, man. You have things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. So but... that track in particular, I mean. You're we released it well. You're released it not not to not. I would say it's a couple months. October, couple October, months, right? yeah, October. October, yeah. So I would say especially with um the events and stuff they have um for the for the year. I think you know that's a track that needs to be re really re re released or pushed in the new year and pushed because it's a big song. That's the plan. That's the plan. I I I just I just waiting for we, uh, well we waiting for Christmas to um to 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 pass to pass and the new year yeah. the new year shebang and and you know yeah and, you know yeah we go we go start with, because because even even the other one the other one um um the other one I I'm not gonna say the name the other one okay the other one <laughs> um, you know it, it you know I find it it, it kind of justice was not done to it you know and a, a, a lot of people. They, they hear the song and, and they say, "Boy, you know, that's a big song." But yeah. you, know, I, you see, I think, I think the artists cause a problem in um, in 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 Saint Lucia, especially. You know, the artists cause the general public to only look out for soca music between the months of May and July, because you know, I I like. In in May and, and, and June or around that time, every everybody looking for soca. Everybody everybody into soca, 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 soca. But once you see it's outside that, nobody nobody pays attention. True, true. Um. So true. I so I I you know I yeah we we released the song in in, in October yeah. because it was Creole and you know because of the yeah. the whole Ramapolio thing and the other one is you know it's like a Creole kind of kind of vibe. But yeah. no, but we didn't really get as much attention but i attention know that's as, because yeah. it's not it's not carnival once you yeah. see may april may reach after easter people go start paying attention and and then yeah. you know you know i think the song will get more and more play and and and, and every, every everybody's saying that everybody's yeah saying that. So, yeah well you you see that's the thing with with songs too when you have a good song on your hand you have to look at the next factor this the timing of release and sometimes you release the song and it takes a while for the DJs to come on board just because of, like you said, fets, nothing happening. Yeah, so the, yeah. You know, the yeah. DJs already want to play nothing new because they want to stick in their comfort zone. Mm. So that's why it's really good that we could have the relationship between studios, producers, DJs, radio stations and stuff. So there could be outlets where the music could really get a fair, a fair pushing even out a season. You know yeah. what I mean? Because music should not be a seasonal thing to begin with. Nah, nah, nah. nah. And, and, and we've had this, we've had this conversation before. I, I keep telling you, I don't see why every month, man can, man can release two, three, two, two, three songs. Yeah, that's how it should be. Again, should uh, be. Uh, uh, again, I, I, I don't care. Again, I make everybody know. Disclaimer: I don't care. Who <laughs> say I bias? <laughs> you know, back in the day. My, my my the band that same band used to release music all year round and then when carnival come around close to carnival the man would would would, would release an album with all them songs that released over the last seven months you know 
So you know, I I don't, I don't get it. I don't I don't understand why we have to wait. You know, the the Americans releasing R and B all year round. The Jamaicans releasing reggae all year round. True. You know, True. I, I I I was I was I was listening to. I think I think you sent that to me. Uh, this uh, this guy this DJ he was saying, you know, like like basically summary. Soca is not a, a, a genre. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's you another, that to that's me, another right? topic we have to. Yeah. That's right. another topic we used to we, we need to discuss as to why why, so that why is you the think, case. But why you think? But 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 but, but, it's, but it's our fault. It's the artist's fault because because they waiting. Everybody only just waiting for carnival time. Carnival time. Carnival time. You know, carnival is it only last two months, May, June, July, and that's it. You know, look at look at look look, look at Triple K. Little Dominica, Triple K, and and Signal and and and, and them and them and, and look at Rich, Rich will listen music all year round. Right. Who who right. who who out out all year round? Who out toying all year round? Very true. I that's mean, some big come on. That's some big points you bring in there. Come yeah, on. Yeah, that's true, you know. Uh, Hillary says music is a way of life and should be an everyday thing. That's a very valid point, Hillary. But of course, of course. It's a very valid point. Pick up yourself, uh, Cohen. Cohen, we have Cohen in the house as private six P six productions. Let's see if we could bring Cohen in. Cohen, I not I I not seeing you. Know, let me try to see. I'm not sure if he's still around. Yeah, the forum is ready, so we could all. Good. Um, you know, let's see. Let me see if I could see. Let me try to add him if if it will let me. Cohen, if you still around, give me a comment so I can try to bring you in. Private oh, six. Me. Private six, yeah. I'm trying to yeah, add yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been trying to add Leo. Leo. Show you thing. Are you showing the people there? Ooh, that's <laughs> artwork. That's artwork for the new album, you know. And on that on that on that note, on that note regarding burning burning flames. We we got an announcement there recently that they're coming out with our album, the original Burning Flames. So that but is I, 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 I wish I could I wish I could play that play that video in, 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 in the live. I w I wish I could play that video in the live. Play the video in the live. Yeah. yeah, but we have to start. Yeah, we have to start. Um, okay, being able to do that, I guess, on, a, on another phone or something. Big up yourself, yeah. John Baptist Williamson. That's that's um, running man. That's the running, anyway. I even, I, I even, I even want to hear about that. <laughs> I don't hear about that. Frederick said, More music, the more people pay attention. That's very true. That's very true. So, that's well, okay. Let's, let, I'm gonna play devil advocate for a second there. So it's easy to say, well, boy, more music all year round. Let's release more music and things. The artists now will say, boy, they can't afford to do that because it costs him so much. What is what would you say to them in that in that degree? That they could only afford because the DJs only playing the songs carnival time. They only get into performing fets carnival time. So why should they release music off season when no fets? And then they still have to pay the the, 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 the studios to record, etc. etc. What would you say to them? X, what's what other artists? What would you say X? That's not a valid point. Yeah, it's a valid, yeah. So from a producer standpoint, uh studio standpoint, what would you say to an artist that that that, that approach you? No, I, I was I was I was, well, the, I was the I was um distracted. Look, I'm um, somebody said to add Leo. I've been trying to add Leo, you know. I've been trying to add him. Yeah. Where DJ Leo? The people want to see DJ Leo on the live. DJ Leo, I sent you about six invitations. I sent you another one again. Let me see. It looks like I got to send you a, um, a, a, a royal invite in the mail. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Leo, I added you. I add you again. I'm waiting for you to come on. But um, so if if an artist say to you, for example, as a producer, by um. I have a nice song idea. I think it'll be a good song. I can't really afford to pay you. What's your your regular rate? Um, what you think is the approach in terms of if you if you listen to the song and you realize okay, but in my opinion, that song is saying nothing. Right, hold on. Let me tell you. I will speak. For myself, you see, not see that. I didn't hear again, Leo. I will speak for myself. And Sam, you know me already. I'm a man that like to see 
thing happening. Right? Yeah. So I do I you know, I mean if it's something that 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 you know that can that that can be you know a, a hit or something that you know that makes sense. I don't mind jumping on it, you know. I mean it's yo yo let, let, let me just make it happen, you know. We yeah. talk, talk money later, you know. We, it, yeah. Uh, you know, if it, it so, so supposing the thing become a hit. Supposing it become a hit. Then we we'll be in a position a year later to say, okay, look, this make this make two hundred thousand dollars. So we split that. Yeah. You know. Fuck, fuck. You, you, you know. So so. My sorry. You know, my, my 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 opinion on that. There there is a lot of artists that that cannot afford. You know you know you know you know that we both struggle in Saint Lucia. You know, and it's not everybody that that, that working. Now if the person come in the studio to record and if he doesn't have money the, the producer should make a contract or whatever so with that, that, that but, that's how it's supposed to be do a contract you get in that percent you know if the, if the song well, is yeah. a hit but if the song is not a hit you will just tell him you know no answer from yeah. leo get i've been trying to add leo leo i'm not sure what's happening sorry for interrupting you but just so you know leo i've been let's try again um let's try again Facebook have its own agenda, but if we if you accept, I'll keep on sending. I'm sending the request to you, and um, hopefully you'll sit and you'll join. No, yes, no, there are some valid no, points. No, least, well, you heard it from from one. He's willing to work with artists if you all if you all have it, you know. Was it was, was it making sense? Are they making sense? Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. It has to make sense. It has to make sense. Now, now yeah. believe me, you, you know already. Lucian's like like Papi Show, you know. Sometimes. The good studio, we go in the good studio and then the, the, the producer, you know, they neglect the artist and the artist will go to an old Pash Pash um, studio and you know that no, it's when but, the song making hits, you know. Yeah, no, but, yeah but, that, but, that happens but, a lot there. But, but, but let me tell you, but let me tell you, I, I, can, I can give you a good example um, and, and some, 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 some know about that. There was, there was a, 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 a particular artist, I'm not going to call his name. Even if I, 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 I heard his name mentioned a while ago, you know, he he went somewhere with a song, and I I feel that the producer the producer um figured that the man was a you know a, a nobody or a, a small artist, and mm. you know he produced the song, and the song I, I you know I listened to the song the final product, and I'm saying to myself how in the world that song um, leave that that the, let the song leave the song like the thing yeah. had the wrong chords the thing the thing it, 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 it just it, nothing nothing was happening in the song the lyrics were the lyrics have, have a lot of potential but this so but the music and the production was terrible right and then and then i i took i took the lyrics i took the lyrics and um I, I change it change it around and I and some some know the thing and night and day night and day and I personally do have a problem just releasing the thing you know I mean you never know you never know you never know I I I always tell Sam that you never know what can be a hit you never know what can be yep. a hit sometimes the thing that you feel that will be this, this shit or the stupid that, that might be the biggest hit I have a, I have a friend of mine. That that uh, I work with, and the man had a song years ago, and he said, "Boy, he just packed that song on the side. He never put on an album." And the man tell me that one day, so 